Hey, Viola Rolls here, and welcome back to Animal Crossing New Leaf. I'm just setting up my town, and Isabel has a message for me. Okay, all set. Oh, that's right. Uh, Mayor Viola? One of our residents, Agnes, is leaving tomorrow. It's a little sad, isn't it? You feel like it's saying goodbye as a mayor might be a nice thing for you to do. Okay, so I lost Agnes. Oh, well. And I should have a new citizen as well, Vladimir. But let me just check this real quick. And I also need to go empty my mail pocket as well. From Ozzy. Right, because, uh... Hi again, Viola. I have a favor to ask. Would you dig up my time capsule for me? It'd be super sad if it never got dug up. And you can keep what's inside. Thanks, Ozzy. Oh, that's right. You had a time capsule before you decided to leave. Oh, well. From Flora. Hey there, Viola. Something special is in store for you today. A lucky item I picked out just for you. Now you'll have a happy day for sure, because you're getting a gift from me. Love ya, from Flora. Okay, so let's see what Flora got for me. A grass standy. I have no idea what that is. But anyway, let me go dig up the capsule for Ozzy. And let's see what was in it. Oh, hey, the fortune teller's in town. Cool. I'll go take care of that in a second. Actually, oh, right. This is where it was, because this is where Ozzy's house was, and I always make a point of burying the time capsule next to where their house is. I can't keep anything with the rest of my letters, so I have to bury it again. Oh, right. Forgot. Okay, let me go take care of the fact that my pockets are full, and then I'll be right back. Let's see what this time capsule is. Let's go ahead and read it. Hey Ozzy, honestly, you could put anything in a time capsule and it would feel like treasure. Now that that's what I did with this time capsule, yours truly passed me. And the present it had in it was... A number one shirt. I like it. I'll keep it on. And I'll go ahead and toss this. I've shown off the fortune teller before. She just gives me a reading. Um, I forget how much it costs. The great happiness from the stars attempting to visit you. I, Trina, can reveal your future and the way to capture fortunes untold for a mere 500 bells. Sure. Very well. Let me bring your star matrix into view. Have a seat. Ah, uh, yes, it is coming to view. Brooks on a clear night. In the skies shine the stars of the noble Sagittarius among countless shooting stars. From this place, I can see these signs. Oh yes, I can. I see good fortune upon items. Twinkle Tink. This item will be the key to truly unlocking your good fortune. Okay, so the Twinkle Tink is lucky today. Interesting. May happiness find you and yours. And remember that bad times are just times that are bad. Understood. Thank you for your reading. The only reason why I'm bothering with the fortune teller thing is because you ha if you have heard give you a certain amount of fortunes, you unlock a store on Main Street. Forget how many fortunes she has to give you, though. Hey, Bora. Hey, I got over that awful cold I had. Wow, I was so sick of sneezing all the time. I'm so happy about that medicine you got for me. Here, take a frog tea as thanks. Oh, thank you. Okay, so you just have to get the medicine once. You don't have to help them fully recover. Thanks again for all your help. Hopefully I never get sick again, Viola. Because I only gave the medicine to her once. Because um, I haven't played since the last time I recorded. Which is evident from the fact that Agnes left. Um, furniture is a special item for today at retail. Okay, cool. So if I get any extra furniture, I know where to bring it. Oh, 
Hey, what's shaking, what? I'm bored. I heard that the right decor in your house can make napping three times as satisfying. Hey, I know. You should recommend some furniture to me. With your keen eyes, Dr. Lee, I'm sure you'll make my place look super cool. Am I carrying any furniture right now? No, I'm not. Okay, well, if I come across anything, I'll give that to Walker. Hey, Ken. So, I was thinking, Brooks really needs a police station. Yeah, for sure. It would have a lost and found. Who wouldn't want to find lost stuff? You know what else? The police would take tabs on suspicious characters they see in town. Wait, hold on. I'm a bit suspicious, aren't I? Oh, maybe this isn't such a good idea. Anyway, you're the mayor, so look into it, okay? Hmm, okay, I was wondering when somebody was going to suggest the police station. And like you said, lost and found items will go there instead of just being scattered around town. Actually, I think you can still find random random uh, packages and stuff on the ground that you have to give back to people. But more likely, they'll end up at the um, police station. Hey, hello, Viola. I was just talking to Flora about movies. Yeah, Viola, what kind of movies do you like? Action flick, romantic comedy, or spy thrillers. Um, I like a good action flick. I'm all about action movies, homie. A drill and pumping scenes, yeah. Before I know it, I'm on my feet yelling like, woo! Oh, come on, Kevin. You yell? Doesn't that bother the other people in the theater? You've got to have good manners like me, Giddy. You say that, but if you saw some monkey dude acting like that, you'd love it, right? <gasps> Wait, is that a yes? Oh, hey, my new citizen is in town. Let's say hi. Hello. Hey, hey, you, you live in this town, am I right? Come here a minute. No, I'm just kidding, you know? My bad. I scare you. I have that effect on people sometimes. My name's Vladimir. I'm going, I'm going around saying hi since I just moved into the area. Do sure you remember this place? Yeah, this one right here. Okay, then. See you, see you later. Yet. Yet is his catchphrase. Okay, interesting. Seems like he has the same personality type as Agnes, who... He's about to leave, which reminds me I need to go say goodbye to Agnes. Um, let me just check this side of the map for fossils and then I'll go do that. Speaking of lost items, I see one in the back there. I don't know if I have room for it though. Oh, I do. Okay. Oh, that's my glove. I was really wondering where it went. My other glove was becoming so lonely. It was truly tragic. I'm so, so I'm glad it came back. You're my hero, and my glove's hero too. Thanks a lot, Viola. You're welcome. Well now, aren't you a nice person? Thanks so much for bringing it back. I don't know if maybe you'd like my cherry tea, but hey, beggars can't be choosers, right? Yeah, you've got a point. I'll be sure not to drop this again anytime soon, no doubt. Okay, so I got a cherry tea out of that. So let's see what the cherry tea looks like. Hmm. I kind of like the cherry tea. I'll keep it on. Hey, Agnes. Ah, hi. I was just thinking of coming to see you. I'm leaving town. Why? Well, I have a lot of reasons, but they're all happy reasons. Take care of yourself, Snuffle. Will do. I got a red dragonfly. Wonder if it breathes fire. I wonder what my encyclopedia says about my new catch. But I don't have any room for it. Should I swap something out for it? Yes. Um, I guess I'll put the pitfall seed on the ground. Okay, nice. So let me go to the museum to deposit that and check the fossil I have. Good 
you, Blathers. Who? Oh dear, pardon me. Welcome to the Brooks Museum. Ooh, ooh, how may I be of service? I'd like to make a donation. What would you like to donate? I'd like to donate the red dragonfly. Hey, a bug. Ah, I beg your pardon. I just don't like handling these things much. Well, hmm, whoa, a red dragonfly. This red dragonfly here reminds me vaguely of when I was but a chick in my mother's nest. Oh, I'm so sorry. I tried to get rather carried away there. Anywho, I promise we'll take good care of this critter. We'll display it later with a more detailed description, so please come back to see it. Thank you very much. Okay, it's joke time. Thank you, thank you. Dr. Shrunk is in the house. My shyness joke is just a thing to cure what ails you. This story is from back before the missus and I got pitched. It was truly love at first sight. So one day, I gathered up all my courage and decided to propose to her. Yeah, it was great. Um, well, the truth is, I, um, I mean, what I want to say is, I just couldn't spit it out. I was standing there squirming and she looked at me and said, I'm sorry, who are you? It took three months to get up the nerve to try again. Wow. So, yeah, what do you think? I think it's the first time you've seen my shyness joke. Now I can add one more joke to your joke book. Use that joke book of yours to bust out your shyness ability and develop your comedic skills. Wow, that was a really sad one. <laughs> but that's what the shyness emote looks like. Hey. Oh, wow, what are you doing with the number one shirt? I've always wanted one of those. Let's make a deal. I want to trade your number one shirt for my blue flannel shirt. Sure. Sweet. Okay, then, here we go. Well, at least the shirt will get some use. <laughs> Thanks a bunch, what? Come back here. Howdy, what's up now, what? Let's see if you'll take this. Nice! I have my eyes on an exercise bike just like this one. I can't wait to see how it looks. It's gonna be great, what? <laughs> here, take this as a thank you present. It's an alpine kitchen cart. Thank you, Dr. V. You're very welcome. Okay, so, and with that, I think we're going to end this episode here. If you guys enjoyed it, be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you guys next time.